remember when Futa Hype come in on my DM and I tell me, say, oh, I have to take off Rebel off of the team because Rebel, she was involved with another girl, like in a relationship. She talked about it all the time. It's no secret, you know. Um, I may have support her. And then I said, oh, I have to kick her off of the team. Boop. So, people, welcome back to Rice TV Entertainment. Welcome back to the channel. And if it's your first time, welcome. Now, we have some things we're going to skip through and update you guys on inside this video. You might know the usual. Spice reveals that put hype did want rebel half of the team after it was revealed that she did a date or allegedly a date. You don't know another girl. We also have a producer and a manager, you don't know, my library. I speak pan how a recent interview was done. We never called Pablo YG name, but Pablo YG's name was mentioned by the you know producer and manager inside the comments. A recent interview Pablo YG did where in which he was asked some very low questions and you know put him in a little position where you're not supposed to put certain artists in or any artist. So I get started pan out Right here so from Baron Messiah we kill boy we are knock off a six while reposting Squash's song you don't know ah uh, you know allege this song towards even the skin. Well not at this song kinda sound like this song to me. It's sound like a regular squash song we have. Right over here so again from Baron Messiah, real F in criminal, all who chatting, you can't see them in a kiss my F in teeth, hiders, not sliders. Yes, see me I say, yeah man, so right now Baron Messiah show them up. Even though it's not tagging or showing up anyone, yes, see me I say. I don't know what's wrong with Baron Messiah right now, man, still, but I'm just make me know. Remember when Futa Hype come in on my DM and I tell me, say, oh, I have to take off Rebel off of the team because Rebel. She was involved with another girl, like in a relationship. She talked about it all the time. It's no secret, you know. Um, I may support her. And then I said, Oh, I have to kick her off on the team. I may say, Keep me now, kick her off. I remember days when I fight for Rebel, when the Rebel Maga saw. How oh, they've trans transitioned from dancers to influencers and, and leveled up. How would that make it? I'm a part of that. Mm. And no one is going to take that away from me. I claim that and say, Yeah, I'm a part of that. I am a part of it. You felt like you were important them when. Like, of course I was. Mm. I remember times literally I cost them to be who they are today. Mm -hmm. Like I'd be picking them. Me have the vice on them. Them can't say a lie. So sometimes when I see people create this narrative like, oh, spice this and spice that. No, we're not going to take away from me that I am a part of their bio, no matter how no one look at it. So when I see them now and flourishing, and so I'm supposed to feel good. I'm not supposed to feel some kind of way in myself. Nobody not going to take that from me like, I have a history with these girls grooming them. Fresh so when drop. I see certain comments on the internet trying to make me feel different, that's not going to happen because what people is not going to do is take away me out of their bio. So people right also inside the comments, we see someone saying, Spice, oh please. And then right over here, so we see someone saying, most of Spice former dancers are all doing well for themselves, so I would definitely brag too. Someone else stated she does have a part in their success, can't take that away from her. You see me? But you have a, I also have a number of persons where I go at Spice right now. I say why she I call them name, stuff like that inside the interview. Is me I say I'll have the link down below to the, the fixed full interview with Spice. Is me I say it's doing well because you don't know say the, the whole history between them and Spice. Spice disrespecting them a couple of years back and now she depend on an interview with them. She apologized to Naro. You don't know mother. And someone back things I get talked up. So I would definitely recommend on check it out the link down below. Side the comments spin, but right here, so we hear she has speak on how Futa Hype did want you don't know Rebel half of the team because Rebel must be in one relationship with another female. You see me, I say Futa Hype get peace of the flames as well because they don't know usually, and I, I'm typically the people in my guy say they don't know Futa Hype, oh, him love chat, so him chat too much everywhere. You don't know, say the, the, the tea business or the folly day, him the over there, so you see me, I say. If him ate it so much, why him they over there so I leave him take? Why him have to always there? Everywhere them argument there there. Yes, me I say. Well, typically, you know, foot type, he might go burn them out straight. He might go put them in them place. He might go cuss them out or expose them, you know. And, you know, one or two times, he will just load them. But that's very, like, very few. Yes, me I say. Yeah, man, so. Definitely, you just make me know what you think about this. Rebel, TC, and Pretty Pretty, as well as some other dancers with Spice, you yeah, probably usually link with. They are do well, you see me, I say, they are star now, and thing and thing. So maybe even at times, Spice feel hurt, you don't know, say, she and them not link no more. She and them, you know, not, 
you know, be friends no more and stuff like that. Whether it be that a spice of the cars or them of the cars for the separation. But they don't know them thing. They make me know what think about that. Right, move on. If I did Jeffrey come out, come and do something with Lou on a podcast, me would have talked about this. I'm not split justice. You get what me I come from? Matter of fact, I may not approach you from the angle. To them podcasts and things, you see, as much as you can stay in control of the situation, you need to stay on top of that. I mean, you say the podcasts are more like freelance and just vibing, but you need to, if not be in control of the questions that are being asked, then at least control the narrative of where the direction of the conversation goes. You get where I come from? Because you need to understand, say, enough of the people that we are the podcast these days. Them I try if you make it. Them I try if you blow up. Them I try if you be the next J Free. You get where I come from, and they really do not care at whose expenses. But I one thing I have to tell the artists them: careful, think about what I say. Don't up. Cause Jamaica have a way, you know, where then we overlook what you do today until they're ready to beat you. Yeah, man, Jamaicans not ready to beat you until they're ready to beat you. So you might say something for a podcast today, and a man no butter eye. Wait till next year when they want a reason to beat you. They're not going to find the same podcast they come back with. Them are young youth, them Gigi. Them, they in the interview. Them don't know how to tell the, some people, say, next question. Me see a little snippet of going with the artist. As, as me say, I don't blame the artist because he don't have no control over the directions of, where the interview go. But certain questions, me see them ask the little youth upon Bombardo's podcast, bro. Me no know about the killer in person, but Bunty killer would have to look me in my face and tell me something wrong. Me know they can't ask Bunty them and certain artists them the question there. Say, I don't even want to repeat the, the latest one when me here we, we, we bring me upon that topic here. Yeah. So, I think the interview where my labrador refer or speak about is the recent interview Pablo YG did over on a channel or a podcast called, called Cash. Is me I say? It's a female host. She interview Valiant and Armani already. I think she review Armani. She interview Armani, but I'm sure she interview Valiant. Now she interview Pablo YG. Right here, so from this person under the video, I could never sit down and watch that podcast. Those questions are wild. I don't need to know about the artist's personal life. I could talk about, me could talk about the sheer split question. Is me as say my lab responded saying you never hear the finger in a T1. Jan no started them question they asked me if you check out the video. But right here, so this person said the girl style Pablo YG for real. Them questions they are every. The artist should have set a certain standards around the interview. My lab responded saying I asked the man about Inga in a T. Jan no star. Is me as say. So the interview, what we are speak on, what my library are speak on right now, as we say, it's a call cash interview, it's the most recent interview, Pablo YG do. You have some clips circulating, so you probably see some little clips on Instagram and TikTok and stuff like that. You understand? But we hear my library I speak on, oh, you don't know, well, I never think I played a part there, but he did mention that once it's a female host, then you go on for make sure, say, you have certain powers around Directing where the interview goes, yes, me I say, or at least try to influence it, yes, me I say, yeah, man, because females not them not have no limits when it comes to certain things. Then we ask you the lowest and falliest of questions, pan a show, pan a podcast, and put in a certain position. You understand? So if you even pre for walk off at the interview after that point, that I'll be talked about. If you even stay and answer the question, that I'll be talked about. So I guess it's a little strategy. As we hear my library, I speak pan. We also hear him speak pan. You don't know the new podcast they have followed up or them we do almost anything for be that center of attention basically to get the views and get the people him fee a pay attention to them. I'm speak pan how them we do anything for be like a J Free or the next J Free. So that's why I'm really elaborate pan that a while ago. You see me I say. But other than that, we hear him speak pan also. You don't know managers and them people who are the artists or them for you know a teacher, a school the artist them for make sure say you don't know them not go for no interview really a freestyle even if the style is freestyling and we just have a nice discussion have certain control and powers over where the discussion goes you see me so we have to big up my lab on this one you understand me I say my people love the reasoning love the new image as well videos them look more professional now mic background everything up so 
Yeah, man. He must speak on some things, my people, and I just want to know what you think about it. Females, them for real, them not have certain limits, but I understand the nature surrounding Carl Cash's channel. It's mostly freestyle. Yes, I mean, even when Pallyant was on the interview with her, you have someone, you, you had a guy who called in and him there to speak on some back of Pally. So just understand. You basically have to just understand where you go. Yes, I mean, I say, who you go to the interview with. There's no way you can do an interview with Winford Williams and expect these type of questions. You see me, I say, yeah, yeah, you're more of a expect some, you know, structured questions and stuff like that. You see me, I say, um, constructive questions. If you do an um, interview with Jay Free, it's like in between. You never really expect them the same way. But yeah, yeah, girl in Carl Cash, you have to be prepared. So I guess probably why she was prepared and thing and thing. I take it in still. You see me? And you don't know, I, I recommend you know, you know, take it into one, you know, see what I want for myself. So people who make me know what to think about this, definitely subscribe if you made it this far inside the video. Big up yourself. I appreciate that love and support. Zine. Subscribe, hit the bell so you never miss any more videos. That way you stay updated, you turn on all notifications, you never miss any other upload. But sure you know if you miss out on none. Hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell. Like the video as well because I would appreciate that and it'll help the video reach out to some more people as well. You see me? And make me know what you think about different things that I'm touch upon and go through. See, bless upon yourself, stay blessed, stay safe, stay tuned for more content on our channel, Rice TV, and I'm out.